Hi guys. Why do I always start so weird? Welcome to Maximum Yarnage. Today we're going to be doing a little bit something different. We're going to be trying out a children's toy. This is, I talked about it last time during the podcast. Hopefully, with any luck, this will be not such a long video. This is not going to be a podcast. This is going to be kind of an unboxing and trying out a kid's toy. And like I said in the podcast, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I don't know if anybody else has done it. And I don't really care. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to try it out and I'm going to see how I like it. Uh, this thing, I got it at Michael's. It looks like it was on clearance. It doesn't feel like it was in clearance. This says it was $27.99. And then it is now $27.99. So I don't think it was on clearance. <laughs> I don't know why it says clearance on it. But I saw it at Michael's when I was getting a bunch of stuff for my uh, cousin's baby shower. And I ended up going back to Michael's to get more things for her baby shower. And I just bit the bullet and I got it. It is so, so cute. Make up to 24 pom-poms all at once using our clever bamboo tool. Create pom-poms of any size, endless possibilities. Let there be pom-poms, says it. All right here. These are all the things that it includes. Adjustable pom-pom tool, various yarns to get you started. This is the pom-pom kit. Make lots of cool pom-poms all at once. Look at all the little things all over. I didn't even know, I thought this was like a fake, like I thought it was a, a tree like a tree picture. It's all made out of pom-poms. I always wanted to do this. That's definitely one of the things on my radar. I love that idea. But this is pretty much where I want to be. I want to be happy, satisfied. So let's see if we're able to do that. This says on the side here, it says make tiny pom-poms or big ones. Make one pom-pom or up to 24 at one time. Clever two foot adjustable bamboo pom pom tool. Make palm trim, pom pom trim, scarves and crafts. Let your imagination go. So um, I am super excited. Also, there is this website called craftastic.net. I wanted to mention all those things because, you know, I don't know. It seems like it's the thing to do. So, ooh, look at that. That's that's supposed to be the tool. I don't know how, like, is this dumb? I don't know. I've never heard of anything like that. I didn't know that you could make that many pom-poms at once. I can't conceive of how that would happen, but <gasps> these are cool colors. They had some other ones that were really cool colors, which I went to the wrong Michael store. So this one was at that Michael store that I went, that Michael store in Southgate. Um, but I saw a really cool color, like lots of blacks and reds and just, they were really cool colors. Uh, but to, I picked this up at the Michaels in Downey because that's where I went for the other um, baby shower stuff and they only had this and this was the only box that I could find as well so they have lots of stuff uh, obviously they have a lot of things at the Michaels um, this is a cool little bit of like measuring tape or something keep in mind this is like a kids toy so Part of the reason why I'm doing this, like, I'm wondering, like, if I were to give something like this to my niece and just go, Merry Christmas, kid, here you go, would she, like, know what to do with it? Or would I have to sit down and do it with her or for her? Like, 
a lot of toys these days that are so very complicated for children. Uh, or at least that's, that's what it seems like to me. Um, this is a little booklet that comes in it. In Le Pom Pom Kit. Wow, Le Pom Pom Kit. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, so it kind of reminds me of half a Swift. So literally, I could put my Swift together and just do that. Huh. One of these days, I will test that out. One of these days, I will test that out. Wow. That theory of mine right now. This... I don't know if this is, like, wrong of me to do, but... <laughs> I mean, that looks pretty cool. I would still buy it because it's still cool. But it looks like you could do that, like, pretty much on anything. Not on anything, but, I mean, like, if you have an old-fashioned yarn swift like I do, you could do that. You could do it on that, I mean, is what I'm saying. That's it. Sorry, cat. I'm so sorry. Sorry, kitty. Oh, boy, I threw that box on my cat. Oh, my God. I mean, I didn't throw it on her. It was just kind of sort of landed on her. This is the loom or whatever it is, the pom-pom thing. And there we have it. Ooh. Two little sticks. Got my yarn. I think I've got room. Sorry for the noise. And then you just kind of put these things together, it looks like. Right? It all looks fairly simple. I think I can manage this. Yes? It feels a little hard to get it through. Lord. Yeah, but see, that's not right. Okay, I finally managed to kind of sort of get that through, but that's... These aren't the right pieces, and I'm afraid of breaking it. Ow. That hurt. I know these pieces have to go together. I guess because literally if you just want to make one... No. <laughs> what am I talking about? Stop trying to be a genius here. Oh, okay. You have to put a considerable amount of force with your thumb. It doesn't look or feel like it's going to fit, but it does. And then you put your little pigs in. It's really simple. So I don't think a kid would have a difficult time figuring out how this works. Like how to put this together. This part is more than simple enough. So I don't know why or who put me in charge of testing children's knitting toys, but <laughs> whatever. This yarn is is not bad. It's pretty neat, I think. Oh, I can literally just take it apart. Look at that. This is a actual, it's actually mustard yellow. I don't know why it's coming out a bright, bright yellow. This is a mustard yellow. All these co colors are very like, um, subdued, um, muted. They're just, that's a little bit better. They're just kind of dark. They're kind of cool. I like it. This is super hot pink. purple beautiful purple these are just not they're not bad colors for and they're soft I'm sure they're acrylic craftastic this looks <laughs> actually this on the screen looks like what that's supposed to look like um, but this is actually an orange color Nowhere does it actually look like the orange color that it is, but it is like a pumpkin, darkish pumpkin orange color, and this is a darkish kind of green. 
does not at all show up like it's supposed to. So, am I going to read the directions? Oh, normally I would, honest to God. But, I don't think I'm gonna. And you know what, you guys? As much as I hate to do it, I think that I'm gonna use all the yarn the way it does right here. You have got to be joking me. Is it just me? Or are there zero English directions? Am I crazy? Luckily, I really don't need it, but there is no English. No English. There are no English instructions on this at all. Okay. So, one of the things that I want to comment on is how difficult it is to get the yarn out from the center. That was phenomenally easy. And what I'm doing is I'm taking it out so that I can put all the strands together that I want to put together and easily just start wrapping it around the loom. Yeah, I mean, a kid would have a difficult time pulling from the, from the middle because it, it put, pulls out all the threads. Sometimes it gets stuck. All right, so I'm ready to go with all my strands. You really should have English instructions in there. So these are all the strands put together. All right, so we have a little loom. Apparently you can make like one pom-pom or more, obviously. I don't know if we should make a slip knot or not, but I'm making a slip knot. And what we're gonna do is wrap around the loom I shouldn't be doing it like this, but um, I don't know why I decided to do this this way. Yeah, I think that's good. I snipped enough yarn. Double like that makes it secure so you don't have to sit there struggling and holding. So this is gonna give me what? One, two, two, three pom poms? I'm I'm getting the extras in there, that's why. And double doing my tie. Nice and taut. You see how it it like it didn't show, but you pull it nice and taut, and then you literally can let it go, and it stays. And then you can do your knot. That's why I do it double. Then you can do your knot, and you don't have to worry. I think I should do an extra knot in all of them. Just one extra knot. So I basically double the wrap and double the knot. All right, that's kind of cool. Now I don't know how I'm going to deal with these, these bits, but I do know that I can now go at these. I hope. <laughs> Yay! And yeah, about there. And you do it. I guess they said do it nice and slow. Yay! My first pom pom. This is cute. Oh my gosh. That's so adorable. I cannot believe it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so then what do you do with the ends? Do I just dig in here? Or do I go here? Okay, I'll just do that and see what happens. Well, this one ended up a bit on the funky side. But you can trim it. All right. And now this one. It feels like such a, like this feels like a giant waste. This yarn on the end, it really, let me see if I can do this instead. You know what? Let's just do this. Take it off and stick it in there like that. <laughs> well, that's just not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course that's going to happen. <laughs> Of course that's going to happen. What the hell? So that means that I would have a lot of trimming to do. That's not going to work. That many pom-poms? It is, it does feel like, making pom-poms does always feel like Oh, it's just so much, so much yarn. But you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to throw these yarn bits in like a little, um, like a little mason jar. That's a lot of yarn bits. It feels so very wasteful. And for 27 bucks, man, $27, dude, that's like a lot of money for this my yarn swift i don't think was what i think it was 25 bucks pom pom maker cost me 30 dollars i don't know how people do this on the bottom here woohoo three pom poms well not the best demo ever but not the worst yes that's pretty cool and i barely trimmed like i really didn't even trim that much all oh, these are so cute is it worth the 27 dollars it's a lot of money but it does have quite a bit of yarn i don't i'm really like super curious to do the really big uh giant palms That's just really, truly not bad. I'm going to palm the crap out of all my cheap yarn. Oh my god. I'm so going to palm it all. I'm. I, that's what I've been meaning on to do for so long. But the only reason why I don't do it is because it takes so long to do one pom-pom. This took me no time at all. I think I spent more time jibber jabbering and figuring out how such a simple thing works than actually palming. That's really cool. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do the big pom pom. So I'm going to set it up right now.
mushroom that excess saucer shape and almost instantly starts to turn into a ball. That's crazy guys. I And it's a, so much less waste than the way that I do it one at a time. I'm amazed. I have to say, I really do think it's worth it. $27. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I mean, I could do this all day. Oh, I'm putting myself on a timeout. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm happy. Uh, I've got a ton more to go through. Look at from from this. This was one of the ones probably on the end, and they're gonna look like that. <laughs> look, it looks like a saucer. You know what? I'm going to put these on my damn Christmas tree. Oh my god! Can you see how cute they are? And the thing is, the yarn is kind of soft. I feel a little allergic to it. Like, the fibers are just... Ugh. I can feel them going into my lungs and just sticking in there, but... I'm just a sensitive weenie. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at my pom-poms in the back, okay? You see those pom-poms? I've shown you guys the pom-poms that I do, and those are the worst. I would have to, to get them to look like this, I would probably have to take off that much yarn, like, from, and I don't even think that they would end up like this, full and pretty. I don't know why, but I can't do this anymore on a fork like grandma taught me, okay? Grandma taught me to do this on a fork or pretty much on anything. On a toilet roll, that's what I did those on. Shit. Um, yeah. I'm so impressed. <laughs> and I'm so tired, which is why I'm like super low energy right now. But I'm so impressed. I am so, so impressed. Can I put one up here? <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> I am so impressed. No, it looks like something's coming out of my ear. <laughs> oh my God, stop. <laughs> well, that was amazing. But this was really fun. I can't wait to get something else. Oh my god, now I'm really not going to be able to stop doing this. Like, I am so excited because I saw these little looms. Oh my god. You know what? Let's, let's be honest here. I am not testing toys for other children, okay? That's not what I'm doing. I'm like reliving my childhood, all the little things that I always wanted to try and wanted to have and I just didn't get or didn't know how to use. I think the only thing that I ever really was awesome at was mixing nail polish and creating my own colors. Uh, I had a nail polish kit when I was a kid and it was amazing. Like you could create your own colors, mix them, uh, water them down with alcohol. I mean, it got really technical, this drops of this color and that color to create this and that it, and bottle your own. I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I would have liked to have had more of these types of things when I was a kid. But we grew up with not a lot so 
I didn't get a lot of stuff. But, I mean, my mom took care of us. We were very well taken care of. All things considered, and we did have a lot of toys. But I am such a little friggin' drama queen princess that I feel like I missed out on a lot of stuff. Because I'm spoiled. I should have been a lot more spoiled. Yes? Whatever. I'm friggin' babbling at this point. But yeah, let's be honest. I ain't trying these toys out for kids. <laughs> hey, this is really useful. Like... I've never seen this. Have you seen it anywhere? Like, I haven't seen this in a yarn store or uh, anywhere. Anywhere. I've not seen this. Why do we not see these little things more often? Am I crazy? I don't know. But I haven't seen them anywhere. And I just, they're, you know, selling them to children. For children. I'm going to test out more kids' toys in future. I don't know what I'm even going to title this. But this is going to become a thing. And I hope that you guys like it. And I hope that I didn't make a complete fool out of myself. And I hope that this wasn't so long that it was boring. So I'm hoping that I'm able to do them in a way that they're not going to be boring. I don't know how entertaining I'm going to be because I don't think I'm very entertaining at all. But if you like it, that's cool. And if you don't, that's cool too. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Mm, hooray! Bye guys! I just remembered something about grandma. And the saucer. I just remember, as I'm, I'm like sitting here trimming all these things, like have all these little things trimmed. It's like super early in the morning. I'm tired, but I'm determined to go through all of them. And as I'm going through this little saucer like halo, I'm remembering my grandma say something like, this is where you're going to determine the shape. So depending on how you cut around that area, then you can shape the rest of your ball. So if you're going around, you literally just go around that edge however right and there's the height of my ball and the rest of it gets trimmed down accordingly I thought I was six years old I love that you guys I love remembering those memories they're amazing and I think that's one of the things that I get such a kick out of like with knitting and everything I mean in one of the past episodes recently for my vlogoween month it was that same sort of feeling when I came across the fish lips heel pattern my grandma taught me how to measure around my foot, how to keep track of everybody's sizes so that I didn't have to think, um, how to do cardboard pieces of my foot. She taught me all that stuff. She, I mean, and sometimes, like, I don't remember until I go through, go through it again um, as an adult. Granted, memories. <laughs> memories can be weird. But um, there's just certain memories that you just, you're not, you know they're there. I remember my grandma doing this. 
I remember making pom-poms with her. And I remember the feelings, you know, wow. And I wasn't even really trying very hard. I don't know how hard it is for anybody else to make pom-poms, but it's not exactly that easy for me. I feel, I'm sorry, I have so much fuzz in my nose. I feel an intense amount of anxiety at all the yarn wastage that I have. And today, I didn't really have that because that little loom was super helpful and I really feel like I made pom-poms like I used to with grandma like the little saucer came out and I was like it looks familiar but I don't really understand what I'm looking at but then I naturally just went for that you know little saucer part that little edge part and you just shave it from there. I know it's an intuitive thing. I know there's not much to a pom-pom, okay? I know there's not much to a pom-pom. I'm just talking about, whoop! I'm just talking about the feelings that these types of activities invoke as far as your memories are concerned with uh, the loved ones who teach you these things and or I'm also, or what I'm also doing is if you've never had that experience, if you never had that experience as a kid, and you're learning how to do all these things on your own, um, think of passing them on because of the feelings that you will invoke in someone else, maybe not now, but later in life. And they're very warm and fuzzy feelings. I'm done trimming. I didn't get 24 balls, but I got 1, um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got 14 balls. 14 balls. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm going to start weaving pretty soon because there's so much... Puzzles. I nearly put my fingernail in my nose right now. That kind of hurt. <laughs> Meow. Hand me that pom pom. Hand me that pom pom, kitty. Hand it. Give it to me. Okay, paw it to me. Paw it to me. Paw me. Oh, good kitty. Okay, bye. Bye, seriously. This time, good night.